What's going on guys, Larry here uh, in part two of our continuing series of beginning bodybuilding. So in the first video I covered uh, intangibles that a lot of people don't discuss uh, that included talking with uh, people in your family or significant other of your new journey, um, you know, selecting a gym and all that. Now we're moving on to part two, which is what a lot of people uh, struggle with and that is finding a workout, doing a workout that is very effective. So seeing as that you're in the beginner stage, you may have a year or less than that in the weight room. So the, the notion of you working hard, you've caught on to it, but do you understand it? Do you know what working hard is? So when we pick a program and people or people advise programs to you that, oh, this will make you work hard. OK, so it may make you work hard, but isn't an effective routine within that hard work realm. Let me provide an example. P90X. P90X was a big thing uh, back a few years ago. Some sections of the fitness population still do it. Yes, it is hard work, but is it effective work? Is it meaningful effort within the grand scheme of things as you try to accomplish uh, certain things, right? Uh, so for some, that is fat loss. For some, that is muscle gain. When we talk about picking out an effective workout, what we really mean is, will this training program help me accomplish the goal that I'm trying to set forth? Will this help me accomplish the greater good? Okay, so when we establish what we want as our goal, we then reverse engineer to find a program or an app that will help us accomplish said goal. So... There are many apps out there. There are many things out there that can help us push forward in gaining fat or gaining muscle, losing fat, right? I'm not the biggest proponent of beginner programs, but in this case, in your case, I am. So let's think about some of the options that we do have. One is a full body program, three days a week, uh, essentially machine based to help your body neurologically get used to handling load. So when you're handling load, you have to understand is that when you're starting out on this bodybuilding thing, you're not going to be able to do an incline bench press effectively. It's just not going to work. You're not going to be able to do a dumbbell press or a barbell squat effectively. It's just not gonna work. So what do we do? We That's where we go to guided ranges of motion, i.e. machines. Regardless of what your internet hardcore bodybuilder says, machines can help you build muscle, but in the context of what we're speaking about today, machines can help your body get used to load where you can start to put on size once you master those machine movements or gain strength, which can transfer over to you using free weight movements. So when you do a full body routine that is primarily machine based, what you do, what you're doing is you're getting your body used to load that you can then shift over that you can then transfer to Free weight, free weight movements. So the chest press or a machine bench press will have some residual effect when you move over to some type of incline press or some type of flat bench press or some type of dumbbell press. Leg press will build up the quads and will help you when you move over to a full range of motion uh, barbell squat. So when you're picking a program, know that you shouldn't pick the one that is the most fanciest, that's the newest on the block or something like that. Quality programming, and I'm not talking about just mine. That's, 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 that would be remiss for me 
to not mention guys like Derek Dolner, Christian Thibodeau, um, John Meadows, Chris Edmonds, things, you know, Coach Kasim over at N1. Um, the most effective programming doesn't take a lot of verbiage. It doesn't take a lot of pronouns and nonsense like that or initials, right? It's very keep it simple. So when you're selecting a program, selecting a program, excuse me, long day. When you select a program, I want you to select a program that doesn't change variables every week, that changes variables one by one, and then also emphasizes to you technique over load. Hard work is something that you should worry about a little bit later. Right now, as a beginner, your thing that you need to be worried about is consistency. And in that consistency, you will get hard work because they're, they're kind of intertwined at your level. So that's just something to think about. Don't get caught up in fancy programming or anything like that. Find something that will have you emphasize full body, machine-based routines, and then understand that the consistency that you have to display with hitting the gym three times a week is going to lead you to working hard. So that's all I got. Very short one today. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing these frequently, uh, seeing as that we're in 2021 and a lot of people just don't know where to go. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, just a quick one. Uh, I'll have more on programs a little bit later in the week, but we're going to touch on a couple of other subjects. All right. Talk to you guys later.